Now once we have drawn the graph, we can apply the corner point theorem and identify the corner points of this feasible region. The first corner point is this one. Let us name this A. The second one is this which can be named as B. The third is at the intersection of both of these which is C. The fourth one is this which is D and the fifth one is E and can be denoted here. So you can see that this is a bit complicated question in which we have five corner points. As in previous questions, we will identify the coordinates of these points and put them one by one in our objective function which is calculated as c is equals to 20p plus 40s and know where our contribution is maximum. So uh, let us start with this exercise. Well, first of all, there is a time saving thing which I have to tell you and uh, which is that in previous questions what we did was that identify out all corner points and did use them or substitute them in this objective function and calculating where our contribution was maximum. But uh, you may note something in this question that uh, point A. Point A will have its coordinates as A has uh, 15,000 comma 0. These will be the coordinates for A. If you compare point A with point B, point B will also have P as 15,000 since both of them lie on a parallel to X axis line. If this has a coordinate of 15,000, B will definitely also have a coordinate of 15,000, the P value of 15,000. But since B is on the right hand side or towards right hand on the graph, it will ha have uh, an S value which is not 0 but definitely more than 0. The S value for B will be more than 0. And if you have more units of S, your contribution will increase. Therefore, you do not need to test the contribution equation or objective function for A. Because whatever contribution you get at A, which is 15,000 units of P and 0 units of S, the contribution at B will definitely be greater than that. Since at B you are also producing 15,000 units of P, which is this, and more units of S. You do not know the number of units but you know that the units of S will not be 0. And if it not, will not be 0, you will be gaining some contribution from units of S and therefore the contribution will be greater. So to summarize, you should not test A. A's contribution will always be lesser than B. First of all, you have to test B. Yes, you have to. At point C, there will be units of P and S both. You will have to test that. And applying the same rule to D and E, units of E will be 0 units of P and 12,000 units of S. Now if you compare it with D, since both of them lie on a parallel to Y axis line, the units at D will definitely be more than units at E. We do not know how much P the units of P will D have since D is over here its units of P should be these units but we know that the units at D for S for product S will definitely be 12,000. We also know that P the units of P at point D will be greater than 0 they will not be 0. So there is no point in testing point E. So what you have to do is test contribution at point B C and D and select the higher one. Now how will if we find the coordinates of point B? To find the coordinates of any point on a graph you have to solve the equations of two lines passing from that point. At B we have two lines 
if you get this B point, B point has two lines passing from it. One is the line which is a straight line P is equals to 15,000. And the other line is the line which is coming from 20 to 20. The 20 to 20 line is the line which had the equation if you go above and see your previous part 1 video part 1 it is the equation 0.27 p plus 0.27 s is equals to 5400 so b is a point which lies on the intersection of these two lines line number 1 and line number 2 you will have to solve both of these lines simultaneously to get the coordinates of b since we know that P is equal to 15,000, we can say 0 0.27 into 15,000 plus 0 0.27 S is equals to 5400 and if you solve it, S will be equal to 0 0.27 into 15,000 is 4050 5400 minus 4050 is 1350 divided by 0.27 we will have coordinates of 5000 so coordinates at B are 15000 comma 5000 finding coordinates of D we will have to apply the same exercise D lies on the intersection of two lines the one line that is parallel to y axis and the other line where d lies is the line which has the equation which is the equation uh, which is coming from 24 to 16 if you have your graph drawn not sketched you can find that d is the intersection of this line and the parallel to y axis line so at d we can say that the d as is at the intersection of s is equals to 12000 and 0 0.5 p plus 0 0.75 s is equals to 12000 so if you solve these two equations you will have 0 0.5 p plus 0 0.75 into 12,000 is equals to 12,000 and if you solve it and find the value of P it will be 12,000 into 0 0.75 is 9,000 and if we get that on the right hand side of the equal to sign it will be 12,000 minus 9,000 divided by 0 0.5 which is equal to 6,000 P will be 6000. So D has the coordinates 6000 units of P and 12000 units of S. We have found the coordinate of B. We have found the coordinates of D. And yes, one thing to note since I have sketched the graphs, I am calculating these coordinates. However, since you will have a drawn graph, you can simply check the X and Y axes and you will get the exact and accurate answers which are equivalent to this last point point c now point c lies on the intersection of two lines and the intersection of the two lines at point c are 0 0.27 p plus 0 0.27 s is equals to 5400 and 0 0.5 p plus 0 0.75 s is equals to 12000 i am repeating this again and again that since I had the sketched graphs, I am calculating these points. However, from a drawn graph, you can easily identify coordinates at any one point. And if I solve both of these questions, this will be my equation number one. I can rewrite it like this 0 0.27p is equal to 5400 minus 0 0.27s and P will be equal to 5400 divided by 0 0.27 which is 20,000 minus 0 0.27 divided by 0 0.27 which is 1s 
substituting this into this equation 0 0.5 into 20,000 minus s plus 0 0.75 s is equals to 12,000 0.5 into 20,000 is 10,000 minus 0 0.5 s plus 0 0.75 s is equals to 12,000 0.75 minus 0.5 is 0 0.25 s 12,000 minus 10,000 is 2,000 so s will be 2000 divided by 0.25 which is equivalent to 8000 at point C the value of S is 8000 if I substitute this value again in this equation to find the value of P P will be 20,000 minus 8000 which is 12,000 so at point C my coordinates for P and S at point C are P is 12,000 and S is 8,000 so now finally I have found out the coordinates of B, C and D and our objective function or our contribution maximization function was C is equals to 20P plus 40S we will solve uh, this question further in the next part of this video.